Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a quick video on the Pokemon Edition consoles that I have. Um, so you can see we have three Switches and um, one 3DS. So I'm just going to do a quick video on why I got each one of them and the story behind it. I'm going to try to go in chronological order on when I got them. So this is the um, the 20th anniversary edition 3ds it's the new one so we'll open it up right here it has the blastoise plates on it um so this is how you can tell it's the new 3ds it has these colored um x a b y buttons and yeah so um this one has the blastoise uh face plates i unfortunately i was so stupid back then but i needed some money but i sold the charizard ones for like 70 bucks or something and i really regret it because I cannot, you know, interchange the plates anymore unless I buy them off, um, like, used or something. Originally, I got this console because uh, the first Pokemon game I ever played was Blue, and that's why I opted to put the Blastoise face plates on it. But um, I've been a huge Pokemon fan since, and when this came out, I knew I had to buy it. Uh, back then, I didn't have much money, but I knew I had to spend what little money I had to get this one because of the fact that I started with Pokemon Blue and it was kind of a tribute slash uh, homage to, you know, those games. So that's the reason why I bought this one. It is still one of my favorites. I do not play it as much because, you know, there's no longer new games being played, uh, made for them for the 3DS, but it's still lovely to have in the collection. Next console will be the Zacian and Zamazenta or Sword and Shield. Um, Nintendo Switch Lite. I bought this console because um, I never had a Switch before and it was around the pandemic so um, this came out with the new games and I knew you know I had to buy it because um, like I said I'm a big Pokemon fan and it kind of it kind of uh, killed two birds with one stone. I never had a Switch and then I also wanted the new games so it just felt right to get this console and i've been having it since it released so this this console is probably like i don't know four or five years old but it's one of the switches that i have the most um emotional attachment to because it's the first one and i've had countless of memories playing um shield and also playing uh super smash bros with it so yeah that's why i got this one. next up we have the uh brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Switch Light. So with the Switch Lights, um, the front of it has no design typically, but the back is where you have the design. And um, this one's pretty cool because, you know, it has a little bit of a color effect. I got this console because of the, um, the remakes that were coming out. Uh, so one of my favorite, or maybe my second or third favorite Pokemon game would be Platinum. And they didn't make a Platinum remake, so uh, this was the next best thing. So I ended up buying this Switch because I knew um, that I would be getting both games. And it just seemed right to pair it with the Switch Lite. And it also helps that, you know, as these consoles come out, I do have a little bit more money because, you know, I'm working and I'm growing up and stuff like that. So it is a little easier for me to get the newer consoles. But um, the older ones that are like in the Game Boy and Game Boy Advance uh, generation. I'm not gonna have because I was way young and had no money back then. But yeah, I got this one because um, one of my favorite Pokemon games ever was Platinum. And yeah, this was the next best thing. Lastly, we have the um, Scarlet and Violet OLED Switch. And I'm not gonna lie, I have the least attachment to this console. Uh, just because it is the newest one and um, also I don't know how you felt about Scarlet and Violet but it was an okay game it wasn't like anything crazy to me and I don't know this this um, console is the most it is the most um, decorated and probably catches the eye the best so i will give it that and it does feel pretty nice it does feel nicer than the other consoles um but overall i'm not super attached to this and yeah um it's more so like a centerpiece on my uh, on my uh, desk so it's a nice one it for sure has a lot of good details especially for the the dock it's pretty nice i will say um visually it's the best one in my opinion but 
I had the least attachment to this one and I literally just bought it because um, I never had an OLED switch and I was buying both games again so uh, I bought it because of that. It is the least favorite of mine um, in my whole collection of Pokemon themed um, of my collection of Pokemon themed consoles so it's the newest and yeah I don't know I will continue to buy them in the future but this one definitely I don't have too much attachment to. So that's just a quick video on the Pokemon consoles I have and the reasons why I bought each of them. Um, I am super excited for Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth and I'm waiting for it to get finally released. Uh, it's going to be the 29th of this month so hopefully you guys are looking forward to that and I'll see you in the next upload.